We're going to kick off the new year talking about a, a bright and exciting new year of 2018 with Mayor David Bennett. Um, the visioning process is something we went through a lot of in 2017, had a lot of input from an awful lot of people. Uh, you've got to be pleased with the fact that that many people got involved. Now it's time to start to see something come out of it? It absolutely is. Uh, we had at least two different think tanks. We had dozens of community forums. We had an online uh, survey that our uh, citizens could participate in. And uh, again, with close to 3,000 citizens participating in that process, I think that's going to give us a, a very good representative sample of uh, what our citizens are thinking and what it is that they value and what is their idea of the preferred future for Hilton Head Island. Yeah. And so we can expect a report from a consultant outlining just that. And that's coming up this spring, first quarter? Oh, it'll maybe? be first quarter. Yeah. That's correct. All right. And if you're one of the 34 or 5,000 people who didn't get directly involved, you have only yourself to blame because you certainly gave them enough opportunity. The town made a very valiant and good effort at reaching out and grabbing individuals in the community and drawing them into the process. Have you seen snippets of it, anecdotal uh, quotes or thoughts from some of the people that you've talked to who've been involved in that that, you've, that have stuck in your mind that maybe you hadn't thought of before? Has anything uh, come out? That, that you said, oh, well, I that's an idea worth pursuing. Well, I think what I've learned really is that uh, most individuals in the community um, have learned that we are headed down a path that is different from where it is that they prefer to go. Um, and so that, I think, has served as a bit of a wake-up call for everyone to get involved and participate in, in this important process. And again, that's this is phase one. Okay. You know, phase two will be the uh, implement implementation strategies that are going to be necessary in order to achieve the vision that is put forth. And so we'll go through that process in 2018 and we're going to assign um, responsibilities uh, to create accountability for moving us along in the direction of that preferred future. Now, will those accountabilities be elected officials or will they be appointed uh, kind of group leaders who have come out and say, hey, I want to help lead us in that direction? How, what kind of form is all that going to take? I, I don't know that we've uh, finalized our okay. thoughts on that process, but in, in my mind, it's going to include citizen participation. It's going to include staff participation and elected officials. So everybody's going to have to get on board. We're and start all going to have to roll up our sleeves, Bob, and, <laughs> and work hard to achieve this vision. In that vision, uh, th there are some things that continue to come up and continue to be issues, and I'm sure they'll be part of the vision. Affordable housing is something we talked about a year ago, yes. and, and uh, are we beginning to move the ball forward with that, or are we beginning to crystallize what uh, what might be a plan? to go that way or is that something we wait for the for the visioning consultants to tell us? No, I don't think we can afford to wait um, and in my mind it's it, it's, a, it's crystal clear that we have a desperate need for uh, workforce housing not just in Hilton Head Island but throughout the low country um, and I think I'm, I'm pleased about the progress we've made these last six months uh, there are a lot of people in our community that are working together. Uh, the chamber is part of that effort. Some of the local resorts, many citizens in the community. I was at a symposium last week, in fact, that was sponsored by the National Bank of South Carolina. Um, and I was impressed by the number of individuals from around the low country area that they'd assembled to work on this very important issue. So yeah, because it's not just the restaurants and the hotels and the chamber and people like that. The bankers got to be on board too. Everybody's got to be on board to make this thing happen. Well, we all do. And I yeah. think what we all need to understand is that this issue impacts each of us right where we are. Um, we all have need for landscapers. We all have need for uh, attendant care mm -hmm. at the hospital mm -hmm. should we ever need to go there and other places. And we go to the drugstore, et, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And you want to receive that uh, quality service that you expect. Uh, but in order to do that, you need individuals to provide that service. And I don't think we can always rely upon the fact that we have historically drawn our workforce from locations quite far from Hilton mm -hmm. Head Island because Bluffton is growing and it's adding jobs. The port of Jasper is coming along. You've seen some of the recent announcements of Hardyville. All of the growth and the jobs that will result from that are going to provide opportunities for those individuals closer to where they live. 
So in my mind, people like to live where they work and work where they live. And sure. I think that precept has proven true time and again. Yeah. So we need to uh, continue moving the ball forward here, and I'm confident that we will. Speaking of that growth uh, that, that's coming off island, uh, on the mainland, uh, enormous numbers they're talking about. Um, how does that, we, we think again that we're, we've got a bridge between us and all of that, and that's a bridge between us and, and all of what's going to happen over there. It is going to impact uh, the way we live here, is it not? Uh, it definitely is. And, uh, good and bad. Though, I <laughs> yes, I think for the good and yeah. for the bad. Um, to me, I mean, those announcements didn't come as a surprise. Huh. Uh, they may have to some, but not to myself and not to anyone on the town council uh, that I'm aware of. And I think that that just highlights the importance of the visioning process because that growth out there is very strong and very dynamic and it's, uh, it has the potential to make substantial changes. The question is, are those changes going to move you in a direction that you don't want to go or are you going to chart your own course? And I think the visioning process is our effort to chart our own course and take steps in that direction. Will those be steps that uh, are, are not going to be popular uh, on, on the, uh, with the mainland communities? Or are we going to do things that, are, that might be crossways with, with how they are proceeding with their growth? Or uh, will there be conflict ahead, I guess? I think it would be very, too premature to sure. say that, okay. Bob. Um, but I, you know, if I, as I expressed in our recent workshop, I have concerns with the growth uh, because, you know, our natural resources, our beach is going to become the beach for individuals that are residing in these areas. Mm -hmm. uh, and I can foresee a day where uh, perhaps uh, day trip visitors to mm -hmm. Hilton Head Island may in effect muscle out our paying guests and our residents. So I think we need to work collaboratively, I mm -hmm. guess, uh, with our neighbors. Uh, in order to achieve a balance uh, in, in everything. Yeah, you talked about that workshop. Uh, one of the things I know you all try to come out of that, of the, of the community, or the, the, the town council workshop, is with a list of priorities. Okay, here's what we think is most important. Uh, share a little of that with us, if you can. Well, ultimately, it, it reflects the five items that I ran for mm -hmm. back in 2014 as mayor. And I, and along with the town council, have worked diligently on those five items since being elected. And so the list of priorities that came from the recent workshops Still reflect there. just that. The visioning, the affordable housing, uh, the sanitary sewer effort or basic infrastructure mm -hmm. for every islander. Um, probably one item that was added to that but fits in obviously very well with infrastructure is the bridge between the mainland and the island. That. Uh, uh, you may be aware is is actually composed of four different segments sure. and one of which has been declared structurally deficient by the state of South Carolina. So they have allocated about 46 million dollars to repair or renovate that span but uh, I think it's much more important that we look at that entire corridor comprehensively and uh, we are moving in that direction. What's your dream? We all have a dream of what we want that thing to look like. Uh, but we all want to be able to get from here to there a whole lot easier. Um, what's your vision on that? You know, I'm going to Personally. go speak with Mayor Joe Riley about that okay. uh, later this week. Perfect uh, guy to, to speak get, to. Yeah, absolutely. To get his thoughts um, on how it is he approached the bridge between the peninsula of uh, downtown Charleston and Mount Pleasant. Um, but generally speaking, my ideas are to number one, make sure that whatever gets put there reflects the true character of Hilton Head Island. Uh, I'd like to see those power lines Amen. go away. <laughs> I want to see that um, have bridge incorporate uh, pedestrian and bicycle paths and okay. really have include gathering points for our community. I mean, if you have been up on the bridge uh, in Charleston that I just referred to, mm -hmm. you'll see people moving alongside of the traffic lanes uh, quite steadily okay. and there are actually gathering uh, public uh, stops at either end of that bridge so it's it's a focal point of the community and that's what I want uh, for us to achieve here. Hey thanks so much for the time Absolutely, this time my friend. and uh, let's keep doing this and uh, I think we're I think we're kind of helping uh, educate the town hopefully a little more on, on where sure we're headed and and uh, thank you again. Thank for you the for time. the opportunity. Good All to right. see you there. All right Mayor David Bennett joining us here on WHHI.